Humans are learning more than they ever have about wolves and how they live. And it is all thanks to a group of Minnesota scientists. David Schumann shows us how GPS collars have opened the door to this previously unknown world. Blueberries, not something you might guess is a regular part of an apex predator's diet. Blueberries are abundant and, uh, and typically the berries are becoming abundant when a lot of wolves' other primary prey are getting challenging for them to catch and kill. Wolves' flexible eating habits is one of many insights Tom Gable and his northern Minnesota-based team have picked up through the Voyager's Wolf Project. They use GPS tracking collars and trail cameras for an unparalleled look into how wolves relate to their surroundings. And in particular, we're interested in trying to understand their predation behavior. Uh, and then how wolves rear their pups. More than a dozen wolves are collared and send back their real-time locations every 20 minutes. The researchers have seen northern Minnesota wolves travel to Wisconsin, western Minnesota, different areas of Canada, and oftentimes they're without a pack, the proverbial lone wolf. And they want to go elsewhere to look for a mate and a territory where they can sort of establish their own pack and have their own family. If the wolves linger in one area, that's when Tom moves in, playing detective, looking for clues to find out why. I found this huge disturbance, which is full of hair and then cracked bones like that. Just lets us understand how the natural world works. And, you know, I think as a scientist, there's a lot of value in understanding the way the natural world works. A mystery that, through hard work, it's a super cool job, is becoming a little less mysterious. David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. As top predators, wolves can have large impacts on ecosystems and other species. The project is funded by Minnesota's Environment and Natural Resources Trust Fund.